Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm on Moodle for Teachers and 3.9.1 with Fortson theme, which is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to show you how to back up and restore a course in another Moodle site. So this is how I get started. I log in. I logged in. And I'm going to go into my courses. Now, this course is called L-O-V-E, and this is it. Okay, so I'm going into the course. I'm in as the manager of the course. I'm also the admin of this Moodle site. And I'm going to hit, and notice it's right over here. And that is course management. This is Boost, which has an amazing feature. And features, actually, that make uh, navigating a Moodle site and courses so much easier. So I'm going to go into the backup, which is over here, under backup, over here. Next, I'm going to click on it. So let's click on backup. Wait a few seconds, and then what do I want? Include enrolled users, definitely not. There aren't any users anymore. They'll have to enroll themselves. Uh, they're going to take a look at the course as managers now. They've taken the course as um, learners. So let's see what we've got here. All right, so let's hit next. I think that uh, this is pretty much it. We're not adding user. Well, maybe we should add user data. I don't know how much is there. So... Um, Let's add user data to all the uh, course content area, even if we don't add the users because the users aren't really there. But their work is, right now the course is uh, for guests only. So there we go. Uh, this should be fine. If not, I could do it again. So I'm backing it up, and then I will restore it on another Moodle site. Okay, so here goes. So there, it's going quite fast. Even though it's a big course with lots of information on it, but that's how fast it went. Isn't that amazing? Click on continue, and then um, going to back it up. Okay, so here is the course over here. Okay, this is today's date, and I'm going to download it to my computer system. It doesn't take any room there. It went down here the backup. All right, so let's go into the course where I want this. This is the Moodle course, and I'm going to log out because I think I'm logged in as a manager, and I want to, well, actually, I should be logged in as a manager because that's what managers do. Um, so I can go in as the admin or the manager. Uh, let me go in as the manager. I think that'll make it more authentic for the users. So I'm in as the manager. I forget what email I created for this, but I hope it's right. All right, I see the site management. All right, so next I'm going to go into site management and um, courses. Yay. Going to go into restore a course. And then, but before that, I need to know where I'm going to put this course. So let's go back into courses, make sure that I'm in the right area. So I'm going to uh, add it to a certain category. So what category? I think I'll add it Moodle Manager category over here. All right, so let's click on that. And I'm going to restore course over here under this all right, so next I'm going to go to my computer system. I'm on a Mac, but it makes absolutely no difference. Okay, and upload a file. Go into Choose File. And I believe this is the backup. Let me hover my mouse over it. Yes, open. I'll write love just for the fun of it. There we go. Click on it. Wait a few seconds as it comes up. Doesn't take long. If you have not tried Moodle as manager of the Moodle site, try it. If you haven't tried Moodle as a teacher, try it. Moodle is absolutely amazing, and it's becoming more and more relevant. 
as time goes. All right, so here it is. This is my course. There's everything. I hope it's all here. If not, I can do this again. Delete this and do it all over. All right, continue. And then I'm going to add it in the Moodle Manager. Notice now I have the category. I'll restore it in that category, even though I could have done teacher training, but I didn't want to choose somebody else's spot. Include enrollment methods, definitely not. Custom fields, not. All right. That that was the original date. I'm going to leave it for now. I can make the changes later. This is going to uh, really help, I think. It was a great idea, but one of the participants of uh, LOV, Live Online Virtual Engagement, continue with this, perform a restore. And here it comes. Now, this won't be as fast, I don't think, but who knows? You know what? Things are going really fast. Um, this is uh, a zipped file. Notice 15, 18, 20. I need to get to 100. So it's going to take uh, a few seconds. Of course, this depends on your system, if you've got a fast internet and um, everything is functional, then it shouldn't take long. If you've got a slow internet connection, be patient. It's going to take longer. Notice it's going quite fast. If you're interested in more than technology, if you're interested in learning with educators from around the world, I highly recommend Moodle for Teachers, where you can learn with others and the experience is absolutely amazing. There we go, it's coming up. So Moodle for Teachers, completely free. There we go, the last. That's it, continue. And there's the course, I think everybody's gonna be really happy that the course is now here. There we go, there it is. All right, I don't have to do anything else because they'll be able to do everything because everyone here is the manager. Thank you, everyone, and thank you for the suggestion. Hope you enjoyed that, and you're able to back up and restore courses on this website called moodlemooks.com, which is also completely free. Bye for now.